Now, your first defense forecast with Dakota Hunter. Well, thank you for logging on to WNYNewsNow.com for checking out your first defense forecast. I'm Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. Happy Thursday. We are getting closer to the weekend. Here's your first defense forecast for this Thursday. A few rain showers throughout the day. Otherwise, it'll be breezy and mild. Going 51 at the Lake Erie shoreline communities with 57 inland and uh, with a healthy southwest wind of 12 to 18 miles an hour. So that southwest wind will help keep the uh, lakeshore communities just a tad bit cooler. So that's always a good thing. Pretty above average. Now, the National Weather Service uh, yesterday issued an aerial flood watch for much of western New York. That's all these counties here shaded in this light green color. It excludes areas north of Buffalo, but it includes everybody else. And this goes until 4 p.m. tomorrow. And this is for the potential with the warmer temperatures today and the rainfall today. The ice and snow melt could cause some minor flooding on streams and creeks. So that's the reason why they issued that. So we have to keep an eye on for minor flooding throughout the day and especially tomorrow. Here we go with future scan. The model picking up on a few little light rain showers north the Buffalo. I think it might be a little bit overdone, but here comes the big mass of rain. Now the uh, yellows to oranges indicate the heavier amounts of rainfall. I don't expect insanely heavy amounts of rainfall, but there could be some heavier downpours within this and within this rain band again with the warmer temperatures that could elevate the flood risk. So if you live in an area that's prone to flooding, you need to pay attention to flood watches and warnings because any minor flooding could be an issue. So we have to keep an eye on that. The rain continues throughout the uh, throughout the evening and throughout the night and then a few little more patches of heavier rain showing up near the state line. And then here comes this tomorrow, the patches of white and blue. That's snow once again. Yeah, I got to bring snow showers into the forecast for tomorrow. But hey, short term pain for long term gain. And here's why. And as I've been telling you all week, a February La Nina pattern is going to develop uh, over the next few days. That is going to skyrocket temperatures on the eastern half of North America. And uh, this is the current 8 to 14 day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. We are at about a 70% chance of seeing above average temperatures over the next 8 to 14 days. This goes right into the end of February. So warmer temperatures are on the way and you can see that that are in the next seven days of your life that are coming up on the screen. And uh, there you see 36 as an average high for tomorrow. That that 36 is going to occur early in the morning. The temperatures will fall down into the 20s by the afternoon hours. And I don't expect a lot of snowfall accumulate uh, uh, out of that, probably less than an inch. And then take a look at that. We go back to the 50s and I officially put 60 in the forecast for next Wednesday. That number could be revised throughout the week. So stay tuned right here.